Texans Mayor G.T. Bynum signed Tulsa's mask ordinance this morning. We have been getting a lot of questions on our Problem Solvers hotline and through our Facebook page. New at 5, our Dane Hawkins goes to work to get some answers for you. After much deliberation, the city of Tulsa's mandatory mask ordinance only within the city limits is now in effect. I was really worried it wouldn't pass. Uh, and what turned that was when the hospitals came out and said, we need this. While some showed opposition before Mayor Bynum signed, some just want to know. Um, why did they decide to have a mandate now? Medical science shows that people are contagious before they realize they even have it. And that's why having this mask on is so important, it's because if you have it, you don't want to unknowingly uh, infect people that you're close with. The mask is not to protect the wearer. Uh, the mask is to protect other people from the wearer. Now that the order is in place, there are some questions about where it applies. I'm just curious if, like, when I'm walking around, I have to, do I have to wear a mask? If you walk into a restaurant or a place that requires you to wear a shirt or to wear shoes, wear your mask. When you come out, get in your car, then you can take it off. What do I do if I want to go to a restaurant and want to eat? If you're waiting for a table or you're going in or you're putting your name down to, to get seated or you're going to pay at the end, you need to have the mask on them. But when you're seated at the table dining, you don't need to have it on. What about in recreational parks and, and gyms? Is it mandatory that we wear masks? Uh, gyms are petri dishes, right? Uh, when it comes to um, uh, germs and, and, and viruses. And so uh, they, are, uh, they are included in the ordinance. So now that we know where, what happened if I don't have a mask? Do I get a fine? We definitely did not feel uh, that it was necessary to fine, to put a fine in place. While there's no fine, anyone who refuses to follow the ordinance could still be prosecuted for trespassing, disturbing the peace, or disorderly conduct. We want to handle this just like we would uh, any other public disturbance. For our officers, uh, and it allows them to utilize existing laws that are already in place to enforce this. Dane Hawkins, two works for you.